Hmm. Do you know I've noticed that BT's High Court order imposed blocking of torrent websites has getting a bit lax lately. Certain torrent sites are not getting blocked at all on their network. Well that's fine for those of us who still use that. Oh by the way, no advocate here of torrent sites, you must always pay for movies, blah blah blah. But they do have their good uses. But as you'll see here in this video that um, I'll show you how to get around some of the blocking. It's really quite easy. And there's also some handy add-ons you can get for Firefox. Well, Firefox I know in particular, but I'm sure Chrome and Internet Explorer and the other browsers have add-ons equivalent to this. That just makes this uh, blocking just a complete joke. And it is a complete joke anyway. The movie websites can block one torrent site and another two or three will pop up in their place. <laughs> Joke's on them really, it's just never going to work. So to demonstrate what I'm on about here, I'll just open up a virtual operating system, and in this case I'll be choosing Windows 7, open up Firefox, and I'll take this handy shopping list from the BBC. So first one, torrents.eu. We get error site blocked. For my Ubuntu system, when I open up torrents.eu, ah, it goes straight there. Now this is because I've used a different DNS server in Ubuntu, whereas Windows 7 is using the BT DNS server. So BT are doing blocking of certain websites over the DNS server. And that's pretty pointless because well, that's just not going to work at all. Because anyone can change their DNS server. You're not dependent on the internet service provider. And all the DNS server does is resolve site names to IP addresses. Um, oh, great, that's handy. We've uh, lost the main website link for Torrents Reactor from Google. So what I just do is go and read the DCMA complaint and we'll find torrentreactor.net. Ah, there we are. Thank you very much for your DCMA complaint from Chilling Effects because now I know what the website address for Torrent Reactor is. Except my copy and paste didn't work though. It was .com though, wasn't it? Error site blocked. Site's working fine. That's not to say every website in that list is working right, because they're not all working. Some websites are blocked properly through IP blocking, and there's not much you can do to get around that. Oh, that's not even blocked in the first place. <laughs> okay, I'll try a different one. BMP3.com. I think that one was blocked. Yes. And over here, yes, blocked. You can change the DNS settings in Windows by going across to the network icon. Right click on it, and then click on Open Network and Sharing Center. Now I know my start bar is laid out probably differently to how most people would have it, but uh, normally it would be on the bottom right hand side. Then you click on Local Area Connection, then click on Properties. Now depending on the network you're using, most likely Internet Protocol version 4, IPv4, or you could be using IPv6 in some cases, and you're probably unlikely. Anyway, left click on IP version 4, then click on Properties, then click on Use the following DNS server address. The one I'd like to use there is OpenDNS, although I'm sure there are many more that you can use. For instance, a search there on Google brings up a few of them as well. So, and there's even Google's DNS server, which is 8.8.8.8, .8 with a reserve server of 8.8.4.4. .4. But I know not everyone likes giving too much information away to Google, so I'm using OpenDNS. And this is free to use, although you can pay to get improved features, which is what I do, because it allows me to block certain websites and domains. So I'll just fill in those details there. 20867 220 220. And click on validate settings upon exit, optional there. Then OK, close, close. Oh, detecting problems. Yes, well, there won't be any problems. But tell you what, while it's doing that, I'll show you the method in Ubuntu, which is to go up to the network icon at the top there left click on it, click on edit, select the connection you're using, either Ethernet or wireless, click on edit, IPv4, or if you're using IPv6, then click on that, but IPv4 settings, 
and you enter the DNS server in there. Oh, actually first you have to drop down the list, don't you, because I'm using manual. There you go, automatic DHCP addresses only, and you can enter the DNS server in there. Let's see if this works. Torrents.eu. Ah, yes, it works now. <laughs> Funny old thing. The last neat little trick that I have is one of those websites on the list was 1337x. So 1337x.org now redirects me to a proxy site. So what I've done here in Firefox is used an add-on the add-on URL fixer version 4.1 and I'll put a link to that in the description below. I'm sure there are equivalent add-ons for Chrome and for, I don't know, there might be one for Internet Explorer, I have absolutely no idea. So I use find and replace so I can type in a website address there. What was one of those websites that's blocked? BMP3, let's try that one. So let's throw that to one side and open up a new Firefox window and type in BMP3 proxy ah, and there's one right there at the top unblock site.es looks pretty good to me so I'll copy that link go across to the preferences on URL fixer type in bmp3.com and paste in the unblock site.es website address I'll take away the HTTP part, it's not necessarily needed. Click on Add Correction, then OK. So now let's try it out. It worked a minute ago for the 1337x website. So that's kind of the idea of what's supposed to happen. And the reason for doing it that way, not just for convenience, but also within the torrent website that I use, torrents.eu, if I select a torrent download that has a link to 1337x.org, yeah, I'll click that. It says error site blocked. So I'll go up to the address bar, select it and then press enter and oh look, it goes across to the torrent. <laughs> it's brilliant. So I hope you found that useful. So thanks for watching. See you later.